my darlings. If you're receiving this email, either I have your email from you purchasing a reading or you have purchased an extended. Either way, thank you so much. Appreciate your business, darling. This message, however, is for aspiring tarot card readers, people who want to learn how to read the tarot just for the fuck of it, or professional tarot card readers. Now, the problem for many readers, especially recreational readers, is learning how to read the cards in a combination. Well, I've created a solution to this problem. I created a course titled Three Strategies to Improve Your Storytelling as a Tarot Card Reader. As an introductory price, I am offering this class at $39.99 up until Labor Day. After Labor Day, the class will be $59.99. This is a pre-recorded class and it will be released September 5th. All right, thank you guys so very much. Hey Capricorn, so I have laid out your cards because I had started your reading and then the thing stopped. So I'm not gonna do this over again, shall? Your overall energy is this wonderful, beautiful card. If you're new, welcome, I am Sunshine. This is Sunshine Tarot. As you guys saw, I'm teaching a class. It is pre-recorded. It's gonna be available September 5th. Get it if you want to, chow. Okay, let's move right into your reading. So I see patience as your overall energy. And so I feel that you have really grown spiritually and emotionally. And you make people feel comfortable and safe. You are stepping forward in your purpose, whether that is to um, redo the basement, be a mom, start a business. Somebody, somebody is slowly stepping forward towards their, their life purpose. And in all activities of your life for the next couple of weeks, patience is going to bring you rewards. Because I see transmutation here. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio okay or someone that has Scorpio in their chart Sun Moon or rising and transmutation is about what's happening with this super moon in Aquarius it's like thoughts and ideas and and really well thoughts and ideas that are really meaning for you have come to the surface like maybe you have been wanting to redo your basement for a long time and now it's up because that's what the supermoon in Aquarius will do. It'll make you directly face things that you truly have wanted to do here. And I definitely see here that you are, with the magician, you are definitely a powerful manifester. You're able to, the, med, the magician is ruled by Virgo, Gemini, Mercury. And that's the planet of communication and being rather smart. So the Gemini, you know, is it, the Virgo can plan things. And that's what you need is kind of like a plan. And I do see you planning things. So there's some idea, could be a business idea, since the supermoon and Aquarius uh, and, uh, is in the Uranus is in Taurus. And Taurus represents like a revolution of your uh the uranus is a revolution of your money your career so you could have been thinking about maybe changing jobs changing careers starting a new business there's some idea that you're trying to manifest and you have a lot of patience with this new idea i see and the magician is about taking your skills and making something happen because you have the patience to do it and you have the confidence the willpower and the ability to do it and people are completely enchanted by you and there's someone who you are enchanted by it could be a fire sign someone that has strong fire in their chart sagittarius aries leo they're enchanted by you or you're enchanted by them not and if it's not a fire sign there's definitely somebody who you're in a committed relationship with that you see yourself with for a long time um, or there's someone who feels this way about you. 
I feel like you're exercising a lot of patience in your relationship, or they are, primarily because you guys could be at a distance with this hermit here. You could be dealing with a Virgo, someone that has strong Virgo placements. So I definitely feel like there's a transmutation that's going on here, especially as it relates to um, career. Was this at 31? No, it wasn't. I thought it was 31, was it? No. Shit. Where is it? 63. I want to read a little bit about this because I really like this author. I like her words. All right. So there's two cards that's talking about something coming to the light. Coming, see, that's what that super moon in Aquarius is all about. It's like, you know what? I really do want to redo my basement. I really do want to be married. I really want a relationship that's full of passion. I really feel like a woman in a man's body. It's like something you're undergoing with the transmutation. Transmutation, you're undergoing a deep spiritual change. There is creative and healing energies all around you. Old habits and thought patterns are being transformed at a deep inner level. So this is how the supermoon is affecting you. You will soon experience a renewed sense of well-being and creativity that will have a very lasting and positive impact on your life. All right. Now, the other card that I really wanted to read that comes from this, because I really like this author, is the Triology of Light. Now, this is your obstacle, right? It means that um, the will is set in motion. There's some type of abstract idea that has been floating around in your subconsciousness, and it's about to surface to your conscious mind. They say to pay attention to new ideas over the next coming days, because one of these is the seed for the beginning of something completely new. Okay, so there's a transmutation coming in, you know, to a play here. A lot of spiritual growth. Like, you are really changing. You're not the same person. Like, if you had a baby's father and they would deal with you now, they wouldn't even know who they're talking to. And one of the reasons is because you're being called the hummingbird, the joy bringer. You bring joy to people's lives. You bless the world. Right? And I, and I see, like, there's like a miracle of happiness here. The only real obstacle I see here is, you know, you might hide behind material things. Uh, and that is unfortunate because you have some really positive gifts to give to the world. And it may not be a path that will bring you wealth, but it may be a path that could help thousands of people or whoever is in your community but then again it could bring you wealth because this card says that you are the creator and the magician so we get two cards about the magician about your ability to create and to manifest in your life right it just looked like with the hermit you need some guidance you might need to talk to a career coach a life coach a business coach Right? I definitely feel like a teacher uh, is needed here. And I don't know, maybe you're resistant to that idea or you don't know about it. Okay. So, what the cards want to tell you is that you are an expert of hard work. And actually, you are an expert of hard play, but you may need to start playing a little more because all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Okay? So I feel like the cards want you to have a little bit more fun, right? But to know that your cheerful and fun disposition is a joy and a blessing to everyone that's in your uh vicinity. What you need to do is to be prepared. 
like you may have uh come on girl go in there go good girl okay good girl all right so you are the expert of hard work and that's what you have going for you right now So I feel like you are a manifester and you have these gifts and talents and the gifts and talents, your main gift and talent, it looks like it's in the power of wisdom and words. And you just kind of need some help. You just need some wisdom and help with how to apply that to life, okay? Now, I see that some of you are um, not in communications with someone. It's like you somebody could have blocked you. You're not really sure which direction to take. A lot of people have their ideas. There's something that's gotten you on your knees. And everybody has an opinion about what you should do about this person or about this thing. And... It looks like your eyes are wide open. You know, um, connections. Yeah, you really are fighting for this relationship, those of you. I feel like you might, you have a strong emotional connection with somebody here. Could be a water sign, right? And others of you, it's like you're dealing with more than one person. Not all of you, so don't flip out, okay? But I see that there is definitely someone here um, that you care a lot about. Some of you, overall, there's been a lot of arguing, right? Uh, but it's a good relationship, nevertheless. But you guys have been see haven't been seeing eye to eye, or there's been other people that you've had to compete for, and some of you got really hurt because you found out about a third party, or there is a third party that just keeps disrupting the future of this relationship, and it's like they just constantly create issues. Nevertheless, you and this person have some type of stability. I don't know if it's because of kids or because you guys have been together for a while. So, for some of you, I feel like the arguing and the bitterness, for those of you who are arguing and the, the competition with other women or other men, um, for those of you that this resonates, it's making you think about being with somebody else. Because you may not want to be in a poly relationship. It's like some of, some of you are just turning your head from this very complicated connection with this person that clearly is seeing other people. You know, your challenge is walking away because you love this person and you're trying to be understanding and you're trying to, you know, deal with them the best way that you know how to deal with them. But many of you sense or you are aware that there is other energy and this is not for everybody, okay? Because my Scorpio friend who's with the Capricorn, there's definitely nobody else around. But whoever I'm talking to right now, the challenge is walking away because that's just not your style. And, you know, you are trying to balance and be understanding and figure out how to accommodate this man or this woman with, because um, you might have somebody too, you know, and that's what they might say to you. But I feel like you guys might try to start something together financially. You guys might try and start a business with each other, flip houses, or you guys might um, deal with each other financially. Like they cut your grass, they you know help you with whatever. 
And I feel like you guys may do that because you really, you both want to hold on to each other because of the resources that you offer each other. It could be sex. It could be just an emotion. Like somebody could be not in love with their husband, but they have an emotional connection with someone else that they work with and they have no intentions of leaving their husband because of, you know, but, um, there's still a connection here. So it's somebody who is not bringing you exclusivity, but you stick around because of the resources that they offer, and they stick around because of the resources that you offer, okay? Um, so what you don't see coming is that actually you guys are like developing more of a friendship so that when the harsh times do come, you won't just abandon each other because you actually have the foundation of a friendship. It seems like emotionally, this person is not giving you what you want. You want more time. You want things to be more consistent. And you've cried about this. You know, this has brought you a lot of tears and everything. But nevertheless, you don't get everything you want, but you get a strong amount of friendship and they still call you and they're very persistent and they're still and they are still there. I feel like I don't see you well, I do kind of see you crying, but not like you used to. I feel like some of you have just come to the conclusion where it's like I already know what's up with this. So, yeah, so some of you turned away from trying to have a romantic relationship with someone that looked like a marriage. You know, it's like you accepted that this is not what this is, but I'm going to let it be what it is. And um, you're still connected to each other very strongly. I see you moving in an opposite direction of whoever you uh, were once with. And I see you moving in an opposite direction with a lot of victory. With a lot of victor, victory. Right? So in the present, I feel like you feel a loss of some kind. You could be at a distance with someone right there's someone that you want to marry or you could already be married but it's not um, everything that is cracked up to be right a lot of it is just how you're looking at things you're taking a perspective that's causing you to see things negatively but I do see that there were uh, friends were separated from a cold argument that was kind of hateful and hurtful and caused you guys to go into a separation uh, with each other but I feel like you guys will make up again right and then you guys will create some new boundaries okay but if this is not your husband or your wife then it looks like um, you're going to I see if honestly I see a friends with benefit situation and then I see a permanent relationship I see a friends with benefits with uh, somebody that has strong fire in their chart, like Leo, especially Leo. I see a friends with benefits in it. Um, yeah, I see a casual relationship with someone who you really love, but they're not giving you the same type of love that you give them or vice versa, right? Somebody is really loving you, but you're not giving them the time of day because they're not completely what you want and they say really hurtful nasty mean things or this is you and it's caused this person to not think of you seriously because you can't control your temper when you're angry or vice versa right but I had a real nasty temper and I had a man treat me so good he never saw it so it's not always the person you know so anyway yeah um, I see a casual situation maybe with somebody that you work with. I feel like you want more. Like you're willing to change your whole life to be with this person. But they're just not, or vice versa. Um, they're willing to change their whole life, their job, their where they live. They're willing to do a whole bunch of shit in order for you guys to come together. But their downfall is their mouth when they're angry. They say vicious, nasty, cruel things. And you just can't go for that. So I feel like you guys are going to do something financial together or you may continue to stay in each other's lives because you guys are connected financially, 
like through a job, through a child maybe, something like that. I do see other women. So like if you have a married husband, a married boyfriend, there's you, the wife, and others, right? Or vice versa. You know, you could be dealing with someone who, um, yeah. So I see other women. I see the three of cups. So I see third party situations here. That's why you left it alone. You felt like I can't win over here. I'm just going to focus on me, my money, and being happy. So then they came back. And they always keep coming back and bothering you. With, I'm so sorry, you know, I love you, man. I love you, I love you. And you're like, oh, God, what do you want? And I'm like, I don't want to go nowhere. I want to miss you. And it's like, yeah, okay. I know how I'm going to deal with you. So it's kind of like you cold to this person now. They used to make you cry, but not no more. I feel like they don't want crying. Trying to figure out how it is that y'all can do what you do and you ain't sweating it. And it's because you've become callous. And it could be because you got somebody else. But nevertheless, I do see some of you in very strong, committed relationships already. So this might be, you know, someone else. Or I feel like um, you guys are really dealing with your business as a way to deal with your broken heart and the loss. And as a result of how hard you're working, you're going to see the uh, results of it in the long run. So I, I see some of you ca casually dating, right? And some, most of them are like friends. I see friends with benefits is what I see in this spread, okay? But it doesn't mean that that is for every Capricorn. And I feel like the friends with benefits is your call. Because they're like, Cappy, you know, you, you know, you, you wrong. You wrong, Cappy. You can just fuck me and get up and leave. And you the woman doing it. And you're like, yeah, that's what you used to do, nigga. The fuck? Well, you think I'm just supposed to sit up here and cry for you forever? What kind of shit is that? All right. All right, Cappy. So now we are going to do an extended reading. Okay? And we're good. Okay. Yeah, so some of you felt betrayed and you're coming out of that feeling of betrayal and you ain't feeling shit. <laughs> it made you a cold ass bitch. Mm -hmm. I can fuck you and your brother and not feel nothing. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> you just went a little too far, child. Okay, I ain't doing no brothers. Okay. All right, let's see, Cappies. Now we're going to take a look at how your person is viewing you. She's a cold-hearted snake. Look into her eyes. All right. All right, Capricorns, where is this relationship going? How does your person feel about you? How does Cap feel about you, Crosswatcher? What secrets is your person keeping from you? What secrets is Capricorn keeping from you? Is there someone else? Crosswatcher. No, does Capricorn have someone else? How does their family really feel about you? Crosswatcher, how does Capricorn's family feel about you? Will we commit anytime soon? Will we get back together again? Will we marry? And how does this person feel about me? Ooh. The King of Pentacles. Wow. They love you. I love you, darling. I love you. They love you. They do. They just want to get their money together. And they don't know if you are quite ready to be a wife because you got a mouth right and you say fucked up shit and you can't have a relationship with somebody like that they're for the streets you know like somebody goes off and lose their temper and they just holler and scream is it's like i don't want that around my kids or family like that's scary right so i feel like you might feel that way about a taurus there's a very strong possibility if this person has taurus virgo or capricorn themselves in their chart that you can see themselves yourselves with them a person they see themselves with you but their head is turned away like looking at the coin so we're going to take a look at why they're turning their head away or why you're turning your head away from them 
okay? So if you want to see an ex the extended reading, the link is in the description box at the top of the comments section. It will say click below for the Capricorn extended reading. And you can go to Vimeo or, or to my website where for a nominal fee you can see the rest of this video, especially if it was resonating with you. Okay, Cappies. I have no idea where my little thing is that stops the video. Oh, here it is. Oh, we didn't do the charms, huh? Uh-oh, this thing is about to cut off. Superman is turned upside down, so somebody is telling you all this shit, but then they're not showing you. You know what I mean? Like, uh, this is this is what I tell women that get readings from me. If a man asks you for their phone number, you tell them, yes, I'll give you my phone number under this condition. You do not text me because I'm not that kind of woman. If you want to talk to me, you call me. If you don't want to talk to me, then leave me alone. Just leave me alone because all this relationship over text you see the red pill community teach their men to not get emotionally involved with someone who's not giving up the booty so they teach them to just text so I counteract that and say listen don't text cuz see if you cared you want to hear my voice what you want is some pussy or whatever you know and I and if they I mean if you down with that cool but you know, no, I, I'm not that kind of woman. You need to call me if you want to talk. So somebody is t pretending like they're Superman, but then they acting like a little bitch. Like they're texting instead of calling and they're not really showing up for the relationship like a grown ass man or a grown ass woman. You're, you and your BFF might have some beef going on right now. They still think about you. They still love you. Um, your mom is really important to you and she's been thinking about you a lot lately. I see family being very important to you. And somebody with the I in their name is going to be impacting you very soon. All right, so again, the overall energy or how your person is feeling is the King of Pentacles. We're going to finish this at Vimeo and at my website. Register for the class. You can get a reading. And God bless.